Hello everybody, welcome back to my math channel, Math Web. Now I will answer you question number 3 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for Pure Math 4. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA 14 slash 01. Let me read the statement for this question. The curve C is defined by the equation 8x cubed minus 3y square plus 2xy equals to 9. Find an equation of the normal to C at the point 2, 5, giving your answer in the form Ax plus By plus C is equals to 0, where A, B and C are integers. Now, first of all, you need to find the gradient of the tangent to this point. If you are able to find the gradient of the tangent to this point, you could easily find the gradient of the normal and later on you can find the equation of the normal. First of all, to find the gradient of the gradient of the curve at point uh, 2 5 we could find it by if you differentiate this function uh, with respect to x so you need to differentiate this function with respect to x 8 x cube minus 3 y square plus 2 x y equals to 9 if you differentiate this function with respect to x the first answer by power rule derivative of x power n is equals to n x power n minus 1 very famous formula you have to memorize this one this power will multiply by 8 you get the answer as 24 and we reduce the power by 1 so it will be 824 x square you can use here implies that and derivative of uh, y square with respect to x again we will apply the formula for with respect to x it will be minus 6y but whenever you have under the power other than x value we differentiate that function again with respect to x so under the power function is y you differentiate that function again so first we apply the power rule this power will multiply by 3 you get 6y 1 reduce 1 power and under the power function derivative is dy by dx you have to take that derivative as well got it now here we have two functions given we will apply the product rule we keep the first function as is derivative of the second function dy by dx derivative of y is dy by dx and plus keep the first function and the derivative of the first function x is 1 and derivative of constant number is 0 got it so this is the product rule what i applied over here there are two functions one is x and other is y we keep first function as is derivative of y is dy by dx plus y as is derivative of the first function is 1 that's it this is the product rule equals constant derivative of constant number is always 0 now the in the next step you need to find the value of dy by dx actually better you expand the brackets so it will be 24 x square minus 6y dy by dx plus expand the bracket so it will be 2x dy by dx and this one 2 will multiply by y we get 2y equals to 0 so easiest thing we actually we want to get the dy by dx alone you can move these two values to right right side so it left with 24x square plus 2y is equals to this becomes positive on to the right side so dy by dx and uh, this one becomes negative so it will be minus 2x dy by dx got it so even though you can simplify these two every number is divisible by 2 so it will be easy to solve them divide by 2 so it will be 12x square here plus y equals to 3y dy by dx minus x dy by dx we are dividing each term by 2 now you can take common dy by dx from these two so it left with 3y minus x dy by dx and uh, on the right side we can write as 12x square plus y we get dy by dx as 12x square plus y divided by 3y minus x now this is the gradient and if you want to find the gradient at this point 2 5 we can find the gradient of the tangent line at 2 5 you know that this value is x x is 2 and y is 5 we can find the gradient of tangent line gradient of tangent will be equals to just plug in the values 12 into 2 square plus y is 5 and divide by 3 into value of y is 5 minus x is 2 12 multiply 4 48 plus 5 is 53 
so this will be 53 divided by 15 minus 2 is 30. For example, if this is a curve, let me tell you this one, and this is a tangent line, you know, tangent is a line that touches the curve at one point, for example, it is touching at this point, 2, 5, and it has gradient m1, for example, and uh, this one is the normal line. Normal line is always perpendicular to this one. This is the normal line. And if you want to find the gradient of this line, uh, we take the negative of the reciprocal of the other one. We take the reciprocal of the other one. Actually, the product of these two gradients is always minus one. And if you want to find the gradient of the normal, we take minus one over m1. So you need, if you want to find the gradient of the, uh, actually you need to find the equation of the normal line. Therefore, you must have the gradient of the normal line. So, to find the gradient of the normal implies that gradient of the normal, gradient of the normal, we can find by using this formula, uh, this one, I told you, minus 1 over this one. Uh, just you need to flip these two and take negative sign, got it? So, it will be minus 13 over 53, equation of normal through, through the same point, through uh, 2, 5 is we can use the formula, this is the basic formula of equation of the line, you should apply this formula here, y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. Now you need to plug in the values, we already got the gradient of the normal line, this is x1 and this one is y1. To plug in the values, plug in the values for y1, y1 is 5, it is 5 here and m is uh, minus 13 over 53 into x minus x1 is 2. In these type of questions, then fraction is there, you need everything on the left hand side, you need to get rid of the fraction, multiply by the highest denominator. So we will multiply this 53 to the left hand side. So it becomes, implies that, if you multiply 53 by y, we get 53y, and multiply 5 by 53, you get as minus 265. And this minus 13 will multiply both of these numbers, got it? On the right side, we will write as minus 13 multiply x is minus 13x and plus 26. In the next step, we will bring these two values to left hand side because we want everything to left hand side according to the uh, demand of the question. Got it? On the right side, they are supposed to be 0. So we will bring these two values to left hand side. So this 13x will be positive on the left hand side, so it will be uh, 13x plus 53y minus 265 is already there, you bring 26 and it will be minus there, equals to 0. And uh, in the last step, you simplify the equation, 13x plus 53y and solving these two, get, uh, these two values together, we get the answer as minus 291 equals to 0. So this is the required equation of the normal line. Question number 3 is done. If you have any question, any doubt in this question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.